Hi everyone, I haven't done a video for ages, so I thought, uh, well actually my daughters said, Mum, you haven't done a video for so long. I said, well, I'm really busy. But anyway, while I'm cooking dinner, I thought we'd, we'd just put one together. Uh, so we're doing a pasta carbonara, and we've probably got about four rashes of bacon, and half an onion chopped up, some parsley, some pine nuts, and three eggs. So I'm just going to put some olive oil. Oops, probably a bit too much olive oil. Anyway, on a medium heat, and I'll just fry up the onion. It's a really nice fast meal. It's running late. I'm running late, <laughs> so something that my kids eat. Just fry up that onion. I've already chopped up the uh, bacon. I've tried some uh, organic bacon and home grown parsley. And the eggs come from our chickens. Our chickens are really naughty though, they keep escaping and bothering our neighbour, which is not good. I might have to do something about that. Try a new cage. All right, that's looking good. Let's just put in the bacon. Of course, this is to just to taste. You could do, this is for four people. So I've used three rashes of bacon and three eggs. Um, you could use pancetta. I'm just gonna do this. And I've just gone with angel hair pasta so that uh, it's nice and fast. So once this is all fried up, the pasta, actually I could put, pop the pasta in now because the water's just boiling. So this is just 500 grams San Remo pasta. Uh, roughly our family will eat about that much, Ooh, which is three quarters. Ooh. Here we go, nice and quick. For a hungry, hungry family. <laughs> now my stove's not heating up. Let's put that a bit hot there. Lower the fry pan, it'll be hot too. Once I've fried this up, I might sprinkle some pine nuts in because I don't have any dairy. So you could put parmesan in the eggs if you wanted to. Maybe a third of a cup or something. It depends how cheesy you like to have it. really good so I might have to do a taste test mm, yes very good very very good okay the pasta is boiling up nicely even though I forgot to time it so that's two minutes for that we need something to get that out hang on a sec good. Let's do the taste test. Woo, it's a bit hot. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, that's al dente. That's good. All right. So, whoops. 
messy cook here. All right. Now, I'll be back in a minute. I'll just drain the pasta and then we'll put it into the bacon. So let's put this delicious woo, pasta in. This wasn't quite my normal container, but that's fine. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hopefully all my Italian friends and family are not cringing, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, there we go. Beautiful pasta there. We'll put the heat on low. And I'm just going to sprinkle oh, a nice coating, maybe two tablespoons, fine nuts. I don't usually do that and maybe the kids won't like it, but I really wanted to put them in because I saw a recipe online that had pine nuts in it and I thought that would be nice seeing I don't have parmesan. Anyway, all right, mix that in and keep it on the heat, but very low heat. Otherwise you end up with scrambled eggs. So let's try and not end up with scrambled eggs, but it still tastes really nice anyway. <laughs> All right. Woo. Might have to eat those bits. Mm. Oh, yum. Okay. Home cooking for the family. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. Sounding good. Let's just pop that in, the scrambled eggs. And mix it around. I might actually take it off the heat. So it really doesn't need much to um, cook up. Oops. Okay, I've got a big fry pan. There we go. Looking good. Mmm. Put a parsley on top and some cracked pepper, and you're set to go. So easy, pretty fast. I think it would have been about 10 minutes, under 10 minutes, just boiling the water. Just slow bit, really. That's looking good. That's it. All right, I'll plate it up and we can eat it. Delicious. Pasta carbonara. Can't wait to eat it. Hopefully you'll have a go because it's so easy to do. Thanks for watching.